Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to show you how to do a scorpion outfit for Mortal Kombat. Uh, I'm mainly doing this for Hayden. Uh, he needs a little bit of help with his hot costume and uh, it's a really cool costume. I mean you can uh, take it for Halloween or uh, just any other occasion you might like to pull off or just go on the street like that because it's super awesome. And um, it's really not hard to do actually. It takes... Um, if you want to do it in a day, you could do it, but it takes a few days if you want to take your time doing it. And um, you don't need to invest that much in it. I think I paid like 30 bucks altogether for everything I needed. And um, I'm just going to show you really fast what you need. So uh, this is the finished product, let's say. You got the uh, black pants here, the tank top right there. And... Um, Here's uh, the arm pads and the shin pads, the mask, and the main costume. Now, um, I'm going to start with uh, the sh shin pads, or whatever actually. It's made from packing foam. Now, uh, the way I did it is I, uh, I bought like um, a really big uh, square of packing foam. It was this thick. Unfortunately, I didn't have the uh, uh, choice to get a thinner one because uh, the mask is kind of big too and I kind of don't like that but um, whatever I had to make do with it so um, the way you do this let's say um, you cut like uh, one part of it which is this part let's say and then here where the joining comes in you don't cut it straight cut it at an angle so whenever you take the other part and put it in it's not going to be like a flat surface. It's actually going to go curved. And uh, I cut one for here, one for here, one for here, and one for here. So this is made out of four parts, actually, uh, that I cut off. So once I did that, I just took a lot of scotch tape, and I taped it together. I covered it completely, actually. And um, then I put the cloth that I bought over it. Now, uh, for uh, the shins, you're going to need uh, two socks, and for the arm pads, you're going to need another two socks. What you're going to have to do for the shin ones is you're going to have to cut the bottom of the socks off so you can slide your feet through. And uh, for this one, you're going to have to cut five holes for there for your fingers to go in. Now, uh, when you sew these things up, um, first off, you're going to have to sew the... Um, the cloth on top of the uh, the pads so I did that already um, the way I did it was uh, I did it manually with a needle so I went in through here exited through here re-entered exit and uh, the important thing is you should really go in a straight line and only sew it in one place you see here uh, actually I'm going to show it here it's easier so uh, here I only sewed it right over here in the middle because if I were to uh, have sewn the uh, the socks uh, in two places, like here, when I would have tried to put my hand through, it would have just ripped the uh, the string off. So it's always best to put it in the middle on in one straight line. And whenever you put uh, your limb through the sock itself, it's uh, gonna mold around the the pad. So it's not gonna be a problem. Also, uh, I really suggest you use um, some more solid uh, string because mine kind of rips. I didn't really use a good one, but whatever, you know, it works. Um, it's kind of the same principle for the mask, except this one is made out of several little pieces. Um, actually, one big one here, two small ones, one here, and a few other ones for here. And uh, I only sewed this in two places to the ski mask that I got, and uh, it works pretty well. I mean, it's a nice mask. And uh, now uh, we're going to pass to uh, this, which is actually the most complicated part, I find. So, uh, okay, the way you're going to know how much cloth you're going to need is I really suggest you uh, take a measuring tape, uh, measure uh, it from your knees, go all the way up to your shoulders, and then all the way down to uh, the back of the knee. So uh, you're going to take that measurement, and uh, it's basically... From here, all the way there, up to here. Alright, and uh, that should be the length of the cloth you should buy. 
and uh, make it about just as wide because you're going to need the rest for uh, those things. Now of course you can uh, you can get a blue one, you can get a red one, there's a lot of uh, cool Mortal Kombat ninjas that you can uh, emulate. So uh, the way I did this, if you uh, want to check it out, here in the back, uh, I cut first of all the flap part thing, then I did an individual belt that goes from here all the way to here and then the things that go over the shoulders which are individual as well and then I sewed it all together on the back so I sewed this to the belt and the belt to the flapping thing alright now um, one thing that you gotta keep in mind when uh, you're gonna sew these things is uh, the way to sew them. So what you're gonna have to do, let's say you cut the cloth and let's say this is your uh, strip of cloth. Let's say these black parts here, okay, because you're gonna have to cut black uh, black strips to add them on, on top of this. So uh, the way you should do them, uh, so you don't get any uh, serrated edges, because that's what usually happens when you cut a, uh, a cloth with a scissor or something, it's gonna start fraying around the edges. So um, to avoid that, what you should do, you uh, you cut a slightly bigger strip. Let's say this is the strip. You fold it like this on the inside on one side. Fold it on the other side, and then you put it like this. Okay. So uh, then you're gonna be able to sew it through here and through here. So that way you're not gonna get any uh, frayed edges. And uh, let's see, this is this, and it comes like this. And you should actually um, use it for every part of the costume, so you don't get any frayed edges. Uh, I do it here as well. So, so it's like this. And so, um, right. then just take like a small marker, do the design you want on top of uh, your stuff. And um, I guess uh, that's about it. Actually, um, you know, instead of using uh, thread for this, if you have the chance. Uh, there are some uh, pins that I think you can buy, and uh, it's actually in the pin, and once you put them in, they separate. Basically, you have to keep them together, and when they go in, they separate. So I think that could work a lot better than uh, than the thread. If you actually get a lot of those and put one here, one here, um, it should actually work better. But, um, yeah, I guess that's about it. I uh, hope this helps you guys uh, make your own... Uh, Mortal Kombat costume. So, um, yeah. Good luck, guys.